There are a whole heap of exciting new cars coming in the next few years, and in this video I'm going to give you a complete A to Z guide of the brands which have just announced some new models. So here they are. Alfa Romeo's latest creation is the Bonkers Julia GTA. This stripped out version of the Quadrifoglio gets 540 horsepower and weighs up to 100 kilograms less than the standard car thanks to a new titanium exhaust and loads of carbon fiber bits. You get a new front bumper, lower side skirts, wider rear wheel arches, and plenty of new vents. Oh, and there's a massive rear spoiler too. Pick a GTA M model and you get lightweight plexiglass windows, a roll cage, racing seats, and six point harnesses. There's also a new launch control system that'll let you do 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. Do you fancy one? Well, you'll have to be just as quick as the car. They're only going to make 500. The all new Audi A3 is basically a much posher version of the new VW Golf. It uses the same chassis, but looks a whole lot sportier and gets plenty of new technology. Inside, you get a pair of large screens and lots of luxurious materials. But Audi's finally ditched the old rotary controller that made things so easy to use. Ah oh well. You can get the A3 with three engines, a couple of diesels, and a 150 horsepower 1.5 litre petrol. You'll also be able to get a plug-in hybrid, which is powered by a combination of an electric motor and a 1.4 litre turbocharged petrol engine. There'll even be a faster S3 model with four-wheel drive, and this is expected to produce 330 horsepower from its two-litre turbocharged engine. The old back mono was one of the most hardcore road cars you could buy. It only had one seat, for goodness sake. The new Mono gets the same F1 style seat, space age design, and high tech materials, but it produces 30 horsepower more from its four cylinder turbocharged Forge engine, and it now meets European noise and emission regulations for the first time. So it's nice and legal, though probably not quite so good on the old eardrums. The new Bentley Bacalar may sound like something you'd wear to rob a bank, but there's nothing subtle or stealthy about this new roadster. Its swoopy bodywork is built by Mulliner, the oldest coach builder in the world, and there's a 659 horsepower W12 engine under the bonnet. Bentley will only build 12 of them, and they cost a whopping £1.5 million each, but they're already sold out. If you're one of the lucky ones, you can personalize your Bacalar with rice husk ash paint, whatever that is, and 5,000 year old Riverwood trim. Hmm. This is the BMW i4 concept. It's not a finished car, but it does show what BMW's rival to the Tesla Model 3 will look like. And yes, it looks like it's going to have a massive bucked tooth grill. But at least the rest of the i4 looks pretty cool. Its interior is about as minimalist as it gets, and there's a huge windscreen infotainment system as well. Actually, that looks a bit familiar. Mercedes E class, anyone? At least the i4 concept is rear wheel drive, like every good BMW should be. Oh, and it'll do 0 to 60 in 4 seconds and hit 124 miles an hour, which isn't bad for an electric car. Best of all, BMW says the i4 can do 373 miles between charges, and it even gets sound effects composed by Hans Zimmer, the guy who did the sound for the movie Inception. Just don't go expecting Leonardo DiCaprio to be the voice of the new satnav. The only thing is, you're going to have to wait for more than a year until the actual production version goes on sale. So why not click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen to save an average of almost £7,000 on what I think is actually the best BMW you can buy today. The old back mono was one of the most hardcore road cars you could buy. It only had one seat, for goodness sake. The new Mono gets the same F1 style seat, space age design, and high tech materials, but it produces 30 horsepower more from its four cylinder turbocharged Forge engine, and it now meets European noise and emission regulations for the first time. So it's nice and legal, though probably not quite so good on the old eardrums. 